Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Secret. So what we're doing today is we're actually going to put some of those embeds that we made. Uh, if you want to see the embed making video, just click the information card in the top right hand corner that's appearing now. And that gives you full detailed instructions on how to make them. So it's now the next day, the embeds are nice and dry and I've got them all bagged up into um, food packaging bags. And I'm not quite sure what uh, colours I want to do, um, but I'm using this awesome mould from Starboard Mould Company. Uh, they're on Facebook and they do releases, I think it's once a month or might not be once a month, but they do releases. So you need to take a look on there and see when they're doing like the next release. Um, so I've got some mixture already powdered up. I've already pressed a load of bath bombs and I just thought I would show you me doing like some of these instead of all of them so as i said i don't know which colors to go for but i'm definitely going to do i'm thinking maybe yellow and blue uh, i need two colors that are going to go together might even try some what i don't want to do is add colors that are going to make the water brown in the bath Okay, so what I want to do is I just want to test uh, the colours to see what colour I get in the bath water. I'm not going to use all of the embed because these embeds are meant to fill the bath water, not just a tiny bowl like this. So I'm just going to break a piece off. So that's a piece of the yellow. Let's see how bright that is. And I've got like maybe three quarters of a piece of the blue because remember the blue ones were a lot smaller than the others that I made. And that gives us an absolutely beautiful green. Now I'm wanting to add some pink as well just to give us a great pattern. I don't know if it's going to be a great pattern. But, um, you know, to give us some bath art basically. So I'm just going to pop some pink in. Colour we get with that. Looks like it's not going to be brown. It's going to be a very rich pinky red, like a plum actually. So that's going to work pretty well. Yeah, we're okay with that colour. So plum's okay, as long as it's not brown, we'll be fine. So I'm going to pop a pink and a yellow in the centre. And then I'll put a blue at this end and a blue at that end. squeeze them in because we don't actually want to be able to see the embeds. I want them to be a surprise of colour when you start fizzing them. Obviously I'm just using a plain white uh, bath bomb mix. I 
I just like to go around the edge with the spoon it just neatens the edge up quite a lot when you when you turn these out And then we're just going to turn it out. It turns out really easily. There you go. And you can even move them into position once you've turned them out. Then what you want to do is just wipe out your mould before you make the next one. So the yellow and pink embeds might be a bit big and the blue might be a little bit shallow. Uh, so next time I make them, I think the perfect size is going to be the one that I did with the melon baller.
so it's strange but compared to that Instagram mold this is so easy as far as turning it out and it being neat neat when you turn it out I think I've put a little bit too much in this one but This will probably be the last one because there's not enough to make another one, I don't think, anywhere. Okay, so we'll just see if we can get one more out of there. Actually, it might be lucky. Looks like we're going to be lucky.
Okay, so it's now time to paint. Um, I've got a bottle of my creme caramel here. If you want to see the video to how I mix these, I'll put an information card in the top right hand corner for you right now. I've also got, I was going to spray them but I, I tried spraying them and I got some of the orange onto the creme caramel and I didn't want that so I'm just going to paint the rest of the colours on. So I've got some um, orange 220Q from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. I've got some burlesque in here, already some in there because that's what I've got left over. And I've got some cool pink from You Make It Up. Just make sure it is cool pink. Yes, it is. So we're going to add some rubbing alcohol into these. And you're also going to need some paint brushes. I've got a kind of larger one for uh, the larger surface, which is going to be the orange. I'm just giving that a good, good mix in there. Just with the paint brush is good enough. And then the burlesque, which actually when you're painting, it just comes out purple. Just giving that a mix in as well. I think we need some more rubbing alcohol in this one. And same with the pink, I, need, I think we need more in there. I've learnt not to do them too concentrated because doing them too concentrated, the powder actually sits proud and really you wanted to soak into the bath bomb and you'll need some gloves on so we're just going to take some kitchen roll and i'm just wrapping that around this end because i only want this crap creme caramel actually on the top so i'm giving it a good shake and then we're just spraying it on it is absolutely fantastic that color i love it and then just lift that off and I'm going to take my glove off because I have got creme caramel on there so just turn um, turn your kitchen towel round and now you can start painting I'm going to pop very very enjoyable painting bath bombs I have to say it's such a delicate movement that you do and it's so relaxing got to be careful when you're going round this centre piece because I don't want any paint on there whatsoever.
always drain your brush before you lift it out of your container and then I'll stop any dribbles going in the wrong place And then this bit around the top is the bit you want to get really neat along here. Right, so the next colour we're going to use is that burlesque. As I say, it actually it makes soap like a pinky purple, but when you're using it as a paint like this, it actually is just like uh, purple. It seems exactly the same as that plum purple from um, I think it's Micah Mama. very gently you're going to pop a circle around this circle just to give it a border I'll see if I can find the paint brushes that I'm using and I'll put a link to those in the description box so I'll just do half of this half of the circle on one side and then I also paint this here And then we're going to turn it round and do the other side. say this purple is a little bit thin I could do with a little bit more mica in there but we'll be okay Now we're going to pop some letters on that label. So I don't know whether just to put ES for Eden Secret or MS for Milkshake or S for Shake. I guess you could do a Superman sign, couldn't you? Super. All right, so let's paint some letters on these bath bombs, shall we? 
pull on this bath bomb. So just very gently with your brush, just very lightly, don't press on too hard. So that's the the pattern all done, and they look really cute. So now it's time to have some fizzy action. Let's get fizzy in the bath with these gorgeous bath bombs, um, bath bomb molds from the Starboard Mold Company. Absolutely brilliant uh, molds, dead easy to use. They unmolded so easily, so I'm really, really happy with them. Um, yeah, let's get fizzy. Thank you. 